Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Global Eats. I'm here in the beautiful town of Pai in Thailand. It's spelled Pai as in P-A-I, but it's pronounced Pai. And I'm by this beautiful river where there's a water wheel in front of me and a lovely bamboo bridge behind me to snack on something I found in a 7-Eleven. This is UHA Rich Milk Candy. I am imagining that it probably tastes a bit like milk, but based on the look of uh, this guy here in the, in the picture, you know, he looks like he's really seen some stuff. But according to the back of the packaging, so UHA is the candy brand from Japan, you can enjoy milky and smoothie melting taste in your mouth. So that's kind of interesting. So not strictly speaking a Thai snack, but written mostly in Thai. Let's give it a go. Easy to open. Get some points there already. Let's have a look at these. Oh, there's not really many, actually. I was kind of hoping... There were six Six strange looking candies here. Here's one of them. It kind of looks like a shaved and chopped up coconut, uh, which is also really common here in Thailand. People get their little coconuts and they chop all the skin and the hair off and then they put a hole in it and they drink the water out. I don't think that's gonna be like this though. Here goes. Hmm. It is a bit like milk. It's like sweet, really sweet milk. Definitely a hard candy. Not too hard for my gnashes though. Hmm. That's good. It tastes a bit like um like a Werther's original or some other butter candy. I guess because it's dairy. Not bad. All right, let's have another one. Here is rich milk candy number two. They've been in my bag for a few days now, so they're getting kind of sticky. They've been sweating, you know, from the heat. The heat, Around this part of the country, around this time of year, it ranges from 25 to 40 degrees centigrade. So it's pretty sweaty, as you can probably tell. Not exactly milk candy season. The texture is obviously, as I said, quite sticky. It's very, very hard candy. It's quite a lot like a Werther's original but sweeter, much sweeter. And it leaves like a residue in your mouth, a strange kind of leftover bit of sugar and, and milk mixed together. Perhaps that leftover residue of milk and sugar is what gave our little mascot here his terrified expression like a feeling he can never wash out of his mouth. Never mind, let's have another one. It's really quite filling actually. I'm not sure I want to eat them all. Mm. Quite nice. Pretty good after the pad thai that I say, which I made unnecessarily spicy. And you know what? Since I don't really want to have any more, I can use the bag's handy little ziplock here. No problem. 
keep this sensitive milk rich candy nice and fresh for next time and a long three hour bus journey ahead of me so I need a snack so I'll leave it at that I'm happy to report that this delicious milky sweet candy only cost me 22 baht which is about 40 pence sterling nice for a long journey from Pai to Chiang Mai so yeah look out for it either in Thailand or apparently Japan you can buy this UHA rich milk candy and there you have it thanks for watching as always or as they say in Thailand Kapung Klap and I will see you next time <laughs>